Hello, and I am Mal. I'm back here with my buddy Sabout, and we're playing some more Master of Orion with the 5X Ultimate Balance mod. Hello, Sabout. Hello. Let's see here. All right. Uh, ready to hunt some more Cylons. They've been a thorn in our side for way too long. They're still using Pulsan missiles, actually. Really? Well, it looks like that's the primary weapon, at least that their ships are using. So that's kind of interesting, actually. I wouldn't have expected that. Um, just because... Hmm. I don't think I'm going to go for Gehenna 4 just yet, by the way. Um... It's got a... It's... It's, uh... Yeah. What's wrong? It's, so, it, Well, it's saying that it's only favorable... Yeah, I'm going to wait. Blockade that. Yeah, okay. That's a good idea. Just kind of fly, maybe fly around their system, destroy some stuff. Is there... It's got a battle station. Oh, that... Gehenna 4 has a battle station. The other one, Gehenna 2, has only got a star base, so what we can do is hunt that. Yeah, definitely don't take the battle stations out because you saw what they did to my fleet with just their fleet. I mean, they've got... They way out tech us, which means those battle stations are going to be tough as nails. Okay, I got I got Gehenna too. Okay, I think once we start, well, that takes out though some command points right there, right? Yeah, but like we were talking about last time, I think that you know they have. Well, they probably get like they a, have some. Yeah, they're getting bonuses, yeah, right? So. Yeah. They're building a pretty large fleet on their home planet. I, too, am building a pretty large fleet, but it is nowhere near the size of theirs, yet. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my fleet up a little bit. I don't normally do, but... I need to send a bunch of ships back for repairs, so... I'm going to do just that. And I'll just leave a couple ships on each one of these. I am just, I'm just cranking out as many ships as I could possibly get. Um, oh, are you destroying all the transports? Yeah. Nice. Okay. Cool. Good. Perfect. Okay. Well, this system is effectively shut down. I mean, he can't, he can't do much. He can build something on one planet. So for now, that'll have to do. Oh my goodness. So many ships. I just got so many. I've got like, just like 12 destroyers got pumped out this turn. This is insane. Insane. In the membrane? In the... Oh my goodness, no. Insane in the membrane. What is this? A destroyer. Please tell me I got another ship. Nope. Nothing here. This is a fairly new colony, actually, so it needs some early stuff. Need more spaceports. I got lots of... Lots of uh, ship. colonies eating up credits, and I caught that scout and destroyed it. Still don't know where he came from. I wonder if they had... No. I was going to say, I wonder if there's some type of te stealth technology or some garbage, but I've never seen one. There is. There's stealth tech. Oh. But they don't have it. Okay. Where's it, like, later in the game? Starlocks have it. I mean, I think... Actually, I think there is some researchable. Yeah. Phasing cloak. Which comes after the cloaking device, wherever that is. 
Oh, cloaking device distortion fields. That's way down there. Cool. I'm ready for the next turn when you are. Okay. I have a lot of ships heading towards my uh, heading towards Wolf to reinforce my fleet. I think I might have a large enough fleet to take them on. I do need more troop transports. I just remembered to take them on in Romano. You mean? Yeah, yeah, to take on Romano. He's falling back. Interesting. Well, I would hope so, considering that I should have a pretty large fleet coming together. Like, a very large fleet. Are you... Let's see. You've got a lot of guys in Kahana. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty much all of my... Pretty much all of my military there. Thought I had a space factory sitting somewhere. Oops. Fair enough. He has to go back. I got the space factory here and I really don't know what to do with them. So I don't really need any more military outposts. I guess I could put one here just in case you get overrun. But if that ever happens, we're in a lot of trouble. Thank, thank, thanks for the vote. <laughs> <conference. laughs> oh. Well, if you get smashed horribly and die, then maybe I'll, you know, just for kicks. I'll just for kicks. Do, do such and such. It's like, uh, okay. Just in case you die, I want to, you know, preserve my people. I mean, why should I die too? Does that right. sound fair? Right. No, no, man. <laughs> hey, look, it's I, I got it. I got it. Uh... <laughs> oh boy, pop population. I've got spaceports being built. I've got destroyers being built. Cruisers. Sometimes I like queuing up two cruisers. And I know it takes, you know, like 16 turns. But I'm always so excited when they're built, finally. I, like, forget about them. And then they get built. And it's, like, a nice little present to myself. <laughs> like, oh, I remember when I queued those up. Wow, two cruisers. That's awesome. And I get all excited. Hey, whatever works for you, buddy. Whatever works for you. Okay, so they want a peace treaty, and I'm saying no, you can't have one. We'll give you four whole credits. That's interesting. You actually can't negotiate from that screen to have them give you stuff. So I guess what you have to do is... Get out of it and renegotiate. You, yeah, renegotiate, yeah. Oh. I guess I could start terraforming some planets. That would really help me if I terraform this planet. 16 turns is a lot, but I'll be happy. I wouldn't. I, 
any any that are any, any of them right now that are primary production i would fight the temptation oh that's not that one's not a primary production it's a pretty crappy planet it's a barren poor minerals oh well then yeah then go for it yeah it, it needs a good terraforming really help kind of sharpen the place up Okay, how many turns away are you? Six? I can wait six turns. I can wait six turns, especially because I'm kind of wait holding off for battleships. I don't know how many turns away it is. I'm about to finish planetology now, and then I'll know. Oh, are you dropping bombs over there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, you took I it. Took, I took it. Yeah. So then you could take Gehina too. So you just need to take the Gehina. What is it for? You got to take that one. Mm-hmm. I think I've got enough to get it done to take Gehenna 2. Yeah, Gehenna 4 is the problem. Yeah, well, do you still have favorable? I don't know. When I combine this fleet back into one, and I've got some other reinforcements coming too. Okay, so, so it might, I might be able to handle it. You might it. be able to take it. I wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't go for a massive station like that until you have like a good to favorable chance. Or what comes after it's... Excellent or something like yeah, that. I'm not doing know. it without a full green bar. Yeah. I feel you. You definitely don't want to lose your fleet to like three quarter full green bar because that would just be um honestly it'd be super frustrating if that happened to you. That a star base. Okay, so I got the other planet. I know it's super quiet. What is going on? <laughs> I think it's we're, we're, we're very focused. I'm extremely like, What's deep. What's gonna in happen? I'm like extremely deep, deeply in thought right now because I'm debating like how I want to gauge this. I really want to take Romano and just get it knocked out, but I'm afraid they're gonna send their massive like skull crushing fleet towards me. They have a huge fleet on their home planet. Like it's just ridiculous how powerful that fleet is. And it's slightly, it's slightly scary, you know. I mean, I don't know what to expect. Sure, I've got a good sized fleet, but that fleet's insane. I don't know. Like, I guess it depends on. I've got tons of reinforcements coming in, so it all just depends on how many of them get here, what they bring to the table, how many turns. Three more turns till I get like my actually four more turns till I get my my second reinforcement fleet that was outside the human territory. So that's gonna make a pretty big difference actually. This is a poor planet, but it does have decent production times. So I should push out two more destroyers. This planet's a really good production planet. Crews are in 11 turns. But let me grab up a spaceport. Okay, the first of my spaceport are actually starting to trickle in, so I should see a pretty big economy boost, which would be nice because I've been suffering. Economy-wise, I'm not as good as I wish I was. Yeah, I'm focusing on spaceports right now myself. Yeah, exactly. 
Artificial planet construction, gas giant compression, something to think about. I don't usually worry about that at this stage, simply because... In the future, yeah. I don't have... It's like 10, 12 turns to do the compression, and then you gotta settle it, and then you gotta build it up, and it's like, eh... I'd rather build, like, stuff to go smash somebody's face with in that time in that same time yeah period, you know what at I mean? the, in, you know during the war with the cylons and everything i don't think it's really the time to be i mean i still got planets in my system that aren't colonized so why don't i focus on that first you know before i'm wasting my time trying to artificially create planets like some sort of god like now, i like it is i deserve nice if you've got like as an example i've got that temic uh temic system and it's yeah. got two asteroid fields. Oh, that's a good... So that could be a three-planet system, but it's not, right? Because of that. Um, so in a system like that, it makes a lot of sense because you, you can turn those into barren worlds. Yeah, I mean, you've got Kahina. That could be a four-planet. Yeah, could do the same thing there. Yeah. I got Wolf. And then, and then it makes sense once like, once you've got like um, the uh, interplanetary administration where multi-planets make a big difference, then it's like, oh, okay then that tech really, really matters because being able to compress a gas giant or, you know, asteroid build or what have you, being able to add more planets to one system, you stack a really good colony leader there that you do in planetary administration. And that's when you start getting those uh, systems that have the ability to crank out like a battleship in, you know, four turns. Or exactly. Whatever. Yeah, that's a big deal. Okay, I'm going to get an advanced colony ship now and see what that does for me. And slowly start colonizing some of these extra planets I've got sitting around because I could use it. And then I've got a little bit of terraforming going on on some of my more crappy planets. Military outpost in four turns. Nice. Actually, I'm going to scrap this. I made two colony ships. I only needed one, and they're not the advanced type, so I'm just going to scrub that. Well, you might as well just colonize for the heck of it. I think you lose the colonists, I right? I don't have anything to colonize. You don't have anything in, in ra ra Rack or Colden? No, I don't have anything, period, to colonize. Hawk. Everything's colonized. Put it outside Hawking, maybe, just so you don't lose the colony. The, you lose the pop that it costs to... I don't care. I don't yes, care. Yes, you do. Don't lie I'm to cranking me. out... I, I'm, no, I'm cranking out like every three or four turns. I'm cranking out like two or three civil transports from that population growth system. I knew it. You're hiding tech from me. Oh, I'm hiding a lot of tech from you. Here, I'm sending you a bunch of tech. Oh, okay. Good stuff. I, mean, I like stuff. I mean, I don't know if any of it's really good, but it's not bad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Where's that? Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay, I got all my factories busy. Four now. Okay, so now I have. <laughs> yeah, it's yellow. Four. I have like yellow chance of of taking on that. Okay, so all it has is a battle station and one destroyer, and my entire fleet with four hundred and four offense and two thousand defense can't take it. So. Wow. <laughs> Battle stations are OP. Apparently crazy powerful. Pl yeah. Please nerf. No, I mean that's cool <laughs> no. that means ours will be powerful too, but I'm just I'm not going to go If we ever make it that far. The thing. Nah, we will. We will. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to take that planet, but very carefully. And if anybody watched if anybody watched our our last Stellaris series, I mean, we pulled miracles out. Well, I mean, we we did actually, and yeah. uh, the whole baiting them into systems where we had built a bunch of defenses and stuff—that oh, was. Now's your chance. 
Now's my chance. To destroy that stupid destroyer. Make me proud. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Grab the fleet. Go over here. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm one turn away from attacking Romano. I don't have any troop transports, do I? That would be a good idea. Well, I can get him queued up and then just get him later. Let me see. I don't really have any systems nearby, but luckily Warp Gates makes that pretty much not a problem. Oh, this is tough. I don't know what the deal is with the... I don't know what the deal is with the Trillarians, but they're just, like, always poor. Like, they never have money to do anything. Like, why are you always broke, you stupid fish guy? Yeah, Trillarians are stupid, stupid fish people. The humans are always broke. Everybody's broke. Oh, the AI is kind of... Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Oh, hold, oh. Hold, hold on. Hold on, this is important. They are willing to trade for Optronic Computer, and they're willing to give us phasers. Now, that's not something we're very close to getting. Okay. That's like late game weapon. Is it that so, good? Take a look at it in the tree, and you tell me. Phasers. Armor penetration, 20. Damage, 30. Cooldown, 8. Oh, boy. Phasers are pretty dang good. Yeah, they're badass compared to what we have. It's tough, though, because the fact that they're willing to give you phases for that shows you how tough or how strong of a technology that is. How much is it going to cripple us if they've got those, that technology? The thing is, though, is that they're already... my my. Okay, so here's my argument. My argument for doing the trade is that they're so far ahead of us that if we go to war with them now, we lose anyway. But later on, it won't matter. Eventually... Eventually, when we have, you know, when both of us are as big as they are and we have the same kind of economies of scale, particularly with regards to research, yeah, it's it's all going to be like – we want to not go to war with them, right? So if we do, we're kind of screwed either way is the way I'm looking at it. So we might as well take the phaser, late, you know, late game weapon to use against enemies that we're planning on attacking now, which don't include these guys. You're right. And who is it? The Illarians or the Trillarians? Trillarians. Yeah, the take it. Gets. We're not attacking the Trillarians for a while anyways. They're way off on our list of people to attack. So let me let me send this to you right now. Actually, I don't know if I can. Hello. Should be able to. Can I? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay. There you go. Whew, I was getting nervous there. Well, that'll make a big difference. Yeah, that's huge. So, phasers, uh, let's see, I would have had to research one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I would have had to research six different things to get that. Yeah. Maybe it's considered a mid-game weapon. For me, it's usually a late-game weapon because I don't, generally speaking, when I've played um, you know, single player, I don't get tech much past phaser. Before the game's over. Now, that you know, it might play out different here because we're doing Large Galaxy and we set the turns higher, so who knows, but... The heck, oh. Are you on the next turn? Um, uh, yeah, in one second, just give me one second. No, no, I'm asking you because I was going to do ship redesign, but I won't if you're... I am, yes. You are doing ship redesign? No, I'm okay, on the next I'm turn. Gonna... Oh, you're on the next turn. Okay. Do it this turn then. Oh, sh get troop transport so I could just bomb them out of existence. It's tough to make a decision. Yeah, I would do ship redesign this turn. Well, actually, I think we're at... Yeah, we are. We're at time. So. Oh, boy.
Why don't we do this? Let me uh, let me do re up our trade agreements real quick. Yep, trade trade agreement and research agreement. Can you? Uh, you don't have enough money. What the heck? I've got almost five hundred credits. It's six hundred and six. Oh my not goodness! Even worth it to do it at this point. Yeah. That's pretty expensive. Uh, but I do have anti gravity har harness for you that I just got from the Alarians that gifted it to me. I guess they want to stay friendly. I will take it. Yeah. All right. Let's do ship redesign real quick. Yep. I'm actually messing with it now a little bit, just for fun. Just for the fun. Go with phasers for everything. Phasers even have a point defense option, just so you know. They do, yeah, I see that. That's pretty nice. Pretty cool, right? Very convenient, for sure. Phasers are probably going to be what helps us crush the Cylons and be done with it. I just realized I don't I don't have heavy armor on any of these ships I don't think oh really yeah well that could be fixed real quick that should give me a considerable boost is point defense something I mean we even really need at this point in the game or what do you think yeah, yeah, we do. At least some. Especially against them because they're using missile tech, so Oh that's right. Like on my are. cruisers I have both I have both ECM dammers on my cruisers and I have point defense on them. Just quietly building death fleets. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I'll just leave this the way it is. Okay, nice. I got heavy armor in there too. That should make a pretty big difference. Wow! Upgrading my ships gonna cost more than I can ever afford. All right. Well, um, since we're at time, why don't we just not hit the turn and we'll just start the next one. Uh, on a fresh track. Okay, yeah, sounds good with me. All right. Okay, folks, well, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, peace about. I'm Mal, and we'll see you later.